Yo, is anyone home right now? Uh, I don't think so. I think Michael may be home. We should scare him. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh. So we're gonna. Come on. Four. Power. Michael. Uh, uh, Mike. Is that a shake weight workout? Is that. That's canola oil! Wait, that's right that's boy. Michael! Michael! Meeting each of the guys in this house for the first time, I knew that they're all good people. Like, oh, these guys are cool, like, whatever. I'm excited to, like, spend time with them. It's just kind of crazy how we met one another the first week of school, I mean, other than Eason, and we all stayed very close friends to the very end of our senior year. I spent a lot of time doing homework. Um, I wasn't very happy here my first semester, and that all started to change when I met you guys. We are on Cayuga Lake. This is Cayuga Lake. We're on Cayuga Lake. Um, it's frozen over, so you could tell. Check this out. It slid! <laughs> Going to Cayuga Lake, especially when it was frozen over, was a lot of fun. Um, other than the fact that Michael decided he wanted to break the... He wanted to break the ice. This is... <laughs> Michael... Michael will kill us all. Oh, Michael! <laughs> you tried to kill me! I thought I was gonna die. I was just trying to see if the rock would break. You know, I think that's what. So you weren't trying to break the ice. Kill people? No. <laughs> we gotta catch him. Oh, we got it! Oh, <laughs> <laughs> you think I could get that? <laughs> You put a sorry batter against the best pitch in the world, that's what you're gonna get. What did you expect? We were on ice. And with, with, the, with the size of the bat I was using, and the power I was generating, th there's no friction force probably on regular flooring that could have uh, saved me. The way that my arm is set up, <laughs> you just can't hit something that I throw. <laughs> like if I throw it and it comes at you with the velocity I can produce, you're not hitting it. And what happened to Easton is that he wasn't aware of my abilities, so he swung at it, his back came around, um, there was confusion in his body and nothing really lined up hand-eye wise, and he hit the ground. Oh no, no. Didn't you play baseball? I didn't play on ice. <laughs> um, I think one of the most valuable aspects about being with the guys in, in this house is the, the unquestionable acceptance they have for me. They don't really see me as any different than any other guy. And not only has like my love for them grown, but I think my love for myself has grown. I think a lot of them taught me how to love myself and embrace that aspect about me because I think before I could even do that personally, I think they did that for me. Get all those minerals, all those impurities. I even take multivitamins. I get all of that in every ounce. Ugh. That's a Flintstones multivite right there. The whole thing. I can hear the salt going down my throat. <laughs> <laughs> no, dead ass, dude. Have you dr you drink this? You can hear it. The granules, bro. I hear the granules. I was like, yo, am I drinking sand? <laughs> I really like this fly. It's really, <laughs> Wait, it's like real fly. really in there. <laughs> it's a bee. I think it was trying to get after this flower right here. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, 
yeah, doing this vlog thing has been like a lot of fun, um, filming everyone. Um, but some people don't really like to be filmed. I'm not gonna say any names, but. I'm just trying to chew here. <laughs> nah, I'm done with the vlog. Week three, I just quit the vlog. Get out of my face. I'm trying to eat. Yo. Yo. Bro! <laughs> no. Just having cameras around me and my face all the time is just hard to operate. Um, but I've definitely, you know, had some space, got to spend some time with my family, and I'm ready to return to the vlog and just, you know, show people my life, you know. You can't, you can't live out a movie without the stars, so... I'm back! <laughs> there are so many different iterations. There's loafers. Wait, wait, what? I like don't think you understand how deeply I've researched this. What are these <laughs> goat foot? Look how cute they are! <laughs> and someone asked me in the cubicle next to me for a pen, and I'll just be like, here. <laughs> okay, but do you want to know the price, which is why we gotta be 30? They're about $800. What the? <laughs> But like, look how chic we could look with $800. <laughs> if you have $800 shoes, you better be able to go back to the future. I might cop a pair. For Eduardo, I might cop a pair. I don't care who it's for, $800. Guys, $800, nope, there's no way I'm buying those. Okay. Cop some yeah, aesthetic right. sneakers. Those don't look aesthetic at all. Look at them. <laughs> I guess aesthetic is a you just broad, broad term. <laughs> <laughs> We were all ready to go to bed, and we were in the living room, and then all of a sudden, Ethan comes out of his bedroom and it's like, do you guys want to record some auto-tune? And we were like, hell yeah, <laughs> like, of course. <laughs> I'm gonna fly like a spot through the night, feel my tears as they dry. <laughs> yeah! What? I mean, you know, in the beginning, I didn't really have a lot of faith, but as the song progressed, and the auto tune just turned, turned on. on. <laughs> I was in the moment. I felt it. I was there. Yeah. I'm sending it along. <laughs> you guys are going to Hollywood. We're going to Hollywood. <laughs> You guys made it to Hollywood. How do you guys feel about your performance? Um, I feel great. I think uh, my sing screaming can go all the way. Honestly, I just feel eternally blessed. Like, we went up on the stage, you gave everything we got, and this is all we could really ask for. Without auto tune, do you guys think you would have been as good? Honestly, I think we Better. <laughs> Change my underwear now. No, it's that good, huh? It's that good. <laughs> Smoky. Yeah. Give it a taste. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Double fist and chili right now. I'm living my best life. All but right. that one's mine. <laughs> <laughs> nah, dude. I was just saying, like, honestly, I should have entered this contest. I think I can make a mean chili. You sure you can't make a, a happy chili? You know, the opposite of mean is nice. So, you're right, you're right. <laughs> little things, random acts of kindness, buy a little cornbread, save a life. I mean, I'm not a hero, but maybe I'm a hero. You, know. you gotta do good deeds to get good deeds to happen to you, you know. Exactly. Cornbread today, yacht for me tomorrow. Exactly, <laughs> cornbread karma. What That's goes it. around comes yeah, around. Exactly. <laughs> so wait, I didn't buy one, so what happens? You'll be gonna die tomorrow. Poor and homeless Guess what, guys? for the rest of your life. I'm taking over the vlog after Lionel's death. Don't worry about it. Just <laughs> no. <laughs> that last chili uh, tasted like hot butthole. Um, not that I know what hot butthole tastes, but like you could imagine. That one tasted like dirty. <laughs> <laughs> so bad. Like I don't know how someone can like smell that and then taste it 
and think you can serve it to people. What are you doing? Cleaning out my mouth from that. I'm really happy I didn't have that last chili because they said it tastes like butthole. I mean, I guess some people like chili, so I guess some people like butthole. Um, guys, can we can we edit that last part out? Can we, guys, 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 guys. guys.